Mixtures! Chicken soup, clouds, cookie dough, mud, cereal, gasoline, blood, coffee, concrete, sand, your favorite soft drink, even the air you breathe! Mixtures are a combination of two or more substances that do not undergo a chemical reaction. Mixtures can be any combination of solids, liquids, and gases. Italian salad dressing, for example, is a mixture of all three. You can see the herbs, the solids, and the air bubbles, the gas, mixed in with the oil and vinegar, the liquids. The components of mixtures can be separated through evaporation, through gravity, or through other mechanical means. Mechanical methods of separation can be as simple as picking olives off of a salad, using a filter to clean the air, or using a magnet to separate iron filings from sand. Some mixtures can be separated utilizing specialized equipment. For example, a washing machine removes water from its load by spinning. Similarly, a centrifuge forces denser substances to the bottom by spinning a sample very quickly. There are two kinds of mixtures, homogeneous and heterogeneous. These names are based on the Greek root words, homo meaning same and heteros meaning different. The components of homogeneous mixtures are uniformly distributed, whereas the components of heterogeneous mixtures are not. Mixtures like oil and water, cereal and milk, and salads are called heterogeneous mixtures. The components in heterogeneous mixtures are unevenly distributed. Components may be as large as lettuce leaves in a salad, or as small as water molecules in an oil and water mixture. One example of a heterogeneous mixture is when we put food coloring in mineral oil. The food coloring remains in the form of droplets that settle to the bottom of the container. The two components are not distributed evenly and make a heterogeneous mixture. There are many different kinds of heterogeneous mixtures, including suspensions, which are solid particles in gas or in a liquid that settle out due to gravity, like sand and water. Another kind of heterogeneous mixture is an emulsion, which is a combination of two different liquids that separate out from one another, like oil and water. Homogeneous mixtures, on the other hand, have an even distribution of substances throughout. Everyday examples include coffee, salt water, and homogenized milk. The substances in a homogeneous mixture tend to have smaller particle sizes than in a heterogeneous mixture. In some cases, the particle size is too small to be distinguished from the other substances. Notice how the food dye distributes evenly throughout the water, forming a homogeneous mixture. The food coloring cannot be distinguished from the water in the same way that dissolved sugar cannot be distinguished from coffee. Although they cannot be seen, both substances are still in the mixture. There are many different kinds of homogeneous mixtures, including solutions and colloids. A solution is a homogeneous mixture whose components form a single phase. In the case of sugar and water, you can have a solid dissolved in liquid, but the outcome is a single phase liquid. Colloids are mixtures where fine particles are dispersed throughout another substance and tend to have a cloudy appearance, like milk. To recap, a mixture contains two or more substances that are held together by physical forces and do not create a new substance. Mixtures can consist of any combination of solids, liquids, and gases. Mixtures can be separated by many approaches, such as evaporation, gravity, or mechanical means. Mixtures can be heterogeneous or homogeneous. The components in heterogeneous mixtures are unevenly distributed, whereas homogeneous mixtures are evenly distributed. So, so now you know. know.